be to acknowledge the self-determination. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Ward, the Ward Kovalev two um, negotiations. Um, first off, I never doubted that Andre Ward would fight the man. Never doubted it. Um, I was on record as saying that I believe it was a uh, mind games that Andre Ward was playing. But even if it's not mind games and he's seriously considering retiring, my position still is. So what? So what? So what? You know, I've seen Andre Ward do fantastic things in the ring. You know. I think, in my opinion, he's had a Hall of Fame career, you know? I think he has, to be honest with you. And I think he deserves more credit and respect from the American fans than he gets. I truly believe that. As a black fighter, we know he's not going to get that 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 um, that um that respect that he deserves because, you know, America's full of races. And that's what it is. The media has been proven to be biased and racist towards black people. Let's take the Oscar de la Hoya racist email scandal into consideration with that, which he still has not said anything about. And he's throwing people out of his events. Like Fred from Barbershop Conversations. Fred, check out my video on, 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 on my boxing rant video on tell him why you mad, son, about boxing. Check that out, man. I, I gave you I gave you big props in the, in the beginning of that video, so check that video out, man. But in any event, back to this. Andre Ward is not afraid of Sergey Kovalev. I believe Sergey Kovalev is afraid of him. Think, think about all the things Kovalev did the instant it was announced he lost the fight. Think about it. If you didn't, I understand if you believe you won the fight. I get that. But why not be angry with the judges? Why be angry with Andre Ward? Why were you angry at Andre Ward? Because you're projecting how you feel about your performance onto him. Because you know the judges scored the fight. The judges gave him the split decision. But you're th you're, you're you're throwing all of this vitriol and venom towards Andre Ward. You're projecting. It's a sign of insecurity. You're insecure about your performance. You're insecure about yourself. You know that you were unnerved in that fight because Andre Ward ripped your heart out of your chest. After you hurt him with that jab, you dropped him, he came back and he dusted you off. He came back at you and you were amazed, shocked and amazed that Andre Ward didn't pull a Bernard Hopkins and run from you the rest of the fight like B-Hop did. B-Hop, when, when he hurt B-Hop in the first round of that fight, it was a wrap. B-Hop didn't want any more of that. And Sergey Kovalev was a heat-seeking missile the rest of that fight. Andre Ward gave you a completely different look, and you didn't understand that. You didn't know how to handle that because you're the crusher. You're not used to dudes tasting your power, getting rocked and dropped by you, and then coming back with all the heart in the world and bringing the fight to you. You weren't used to that. He unnerved you. He rattled you. You, you didn't know how to react to that. You think because you dropped him one time that you won the fight. Ridiculous. You know you lost. You're projecting your insecurities onto him with all of the, the, the trash talking and the excuses. Oh, I was sick. Oh, my my hand was hurting. Uh, I think Kathy Duva said that. She hadn't conferred with anybody in his corner, but she already jumped out there with the hand was hurting nonsense. In any event, don't believe anything Kathy Duva said. In fact, that was a good segue into Kathy Duva. She did this, she's done this before. She's lied about certain things, about the fight, about negotiations, and this and the third. And then a week or two later, the truth always reveals her itself. This woman is a sociopath. She has, what, what is the word I'm looking for? She, she, she's a sociopath. She, she has, she feels no shame or any guilt about going out in public to media that will more than likely circumnavigate the planet and saying ridiculously stupid things knowing the truth the whole time she has no concept of shame whatsoever she will say anything to paint Andre Ward as the bad guy and you don't even need to promote you you don't even need to do those kind of things for a fight like this but two individuals such as them, themselves you don't even need to do that you know what I'm saying? The fact that these two men are who they are sells the fight. The fact that things were left the way they were in the first fight already pumps up the second fight. Who doesn't want to see that? All the Coldplay fans want to see it, meaning I'm not going to go there. But everybody wants to see this fight. I want to see this fight. I think Andre Ward will win. I'm not jumping to any conclusions. 
I'm not mad at Andre Ward if he wants to retire. I'm not mad at him if he fights an, another five, ten fights. Because I have much respect for the man, you know, understand? So it makes no never mind to me what he does or doesn't do. At the end of the day, he's already gone at my respect. Sergey Kovalev, on the other hand, has not. He's actually lost it. And probably will never be able to regain it because his excuse for the racist stuff with the Donna Stevens was, oh, me, me and my brothers, we talk like this all the time. Man, get the fuck out of here with that. That's nonsense. Complete and utter nonsense. Shut up, Sergey Kovalev. You on your axe handle, chin having ass. But anyway, I never doubted Andre Ward. Him talking about retiring. Whatever, I don't care. I don't care. He's fighting his fight. So, you know, well, uh, 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 at least that's what we are assuming so far because nothing's written in stone. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Um, as, as this progresses, I'll give you guys more updates on this. But this is why I didn't say anything at first when Kathy Duva first came out because of experience dealing with Kathy Duva. Well, me, not, not me personally, but the, the experiences that we've all witnessed and observed from Kathy Duva, her, her past actions, which is why I didn't say anything when she first came out, her blowhole talking that nonsense, because she's done this before. I wanted to wait and see what else would transpire before I said anything about this, this situation. And at, per my presumption, I was correct. There was more to it. She comes, a week or two later, she comes out and say, well, now we're in negotiations. After, man, come on. I don't even I don't even need to reiterate any of this. You guys already know what's going on. You already know what's going on. Stop jumping to conclusions and speaking on things that you have not you have no confirmation of. You understand? But yeah, so they have talked. Um negotiations negotiations are set. Um the fight supposedly is going to be on June 17th. I really wish Andre Wall wasn't fighting back on HBO again. That's just my opinion. Um I thought his um his um contract was up with HBO, so I'm not sure about all of that, all the particulars so far as that's concerned. But again, I'm not going to be presumptuous presumptuous in in, in in speak on things that I have no clue about. Let's just wait and see what happens. But for all of you dudes out there who continue to listen to Kathy Duva, and you only believe her because she's talking about a fighter you don't like, if it was anybody else, if the roles were reversed and she was talking about Kovalev. You wouldn't listen to a word she said. I'm assuming because we have no we have no information to the contrary. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any information to the contrary to 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 actually provide any evidence that this would happen. But just based on her character and how these fans are, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and toss that line in the water. But anyway, Andre was gonna fight Sergey Kovalev, of which I had no doubt. Um, Let's hope the fight does happen in June 7, on June 17th. Um, let's hope it's a good ticket. Let's hope there's no more nonsense and BS from Kathy Duva, even though, you know, saying that means absolutely nothing because after all, she is who she is. But this should just teach you guys, stop jumping to conclusions and don't listen to Kathy Duva. If Andre Ward's side hasn't confirmed anything, I wouldn't listen to anything Kathy Duva has said. I mean, no, honestly, and until the other side actually confirms or denies something, I wouldn't believe anything Kathy Duva says. Why give her the attention? She's a sociopath. She has absolutely no, integ no in integrity, no accountability, no shame, none whatsoever. Well, I'm man, I think she's a sociopath, personally, just looking at the things she's done. She has no problem making herself look like a fool, repeatedly making herself look stupid and foolish by saying stuff and being proven wrong the very next week. So anyway, that's all I'm going to um, say on this. Um, until more information comes out, I have nothing else to say about this um, uh, because who knows what's going to happen so far as negotiations are concerned. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Like, learn, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.